Hi, my name is Chris Ferguson and I am the Department Chair of Psychology here at Stetson University. I've been here for almost two years at this point, although I also was a graduate of Stetson back in 1993, so this is a bit of a homecoming for me. Um, I do research mostly on video games uh, and violent behavior and criminal behavior and such. And I teach courses related to media and behavior, forensic psychology, um, an internship class, and uh, I teach a freshman seminar on video games and society. I, I grew up playing the Atari 2600, so a lot of like the classics, you know, Space Invaders, Pac-Man, Frogger type of games uh, and such, and uh, kind of got out of it in my teenage years, uh, and then got back into it perhaps more in the last you know, 10 or 15 years uh, when I was a little, little bit uh, older. I'm not a major gamer at this point for the most part, although I do play some games, of course. Um, but a lot of the games I play now are actually with my son. I have an 11 year old son and, and we play a lot of like the Lego Star Wars games and, and, and things like that. So I'm probably a moderate gamer uh, at this point. But, but yeah, I, I think there's, there was kind of a generational cutoff right about where my age is, maybe a couple years older. The, the people that grew up with the Atari 2600 seemed to be pretty accepting of video games, including violent ones. And then the people that are even just a few years older than me who didn't grow up with video games tend to be a lot more suspicious of them. So it's almost a, a perfect cut somewhere in the mid-40s uh, for, for age. We've, we've done a lot of studies um, you know, here at Stetson looking at the impact of video games on teenagers in particular and that's really one of the areas of interest to me and of course that's really what society is interested in is do video games predict uh, aggression in teens whether it's bullying or, or, or violence or, or, or other sorts of behaviors and, and by and large the, we've, we've done some experimental studies here, we've done some studies that are more survey based following teens for a longer period of time. And at this point, most of the evidence that we have found has not been supportive of there being a relationship between violent video games and aggression uh, in teens. We, we really don't find much evidence for there being much of an impact at all one way or the other. It really seems like video games are just another form of media that people just kind of blow off time and, and, and enjoy rather than having a very large impact on who we are or shaping us as human beings necessarily. My colleague uh, Stefan Ellis and I are right now working on a documentary on, on video games and it sounds like a really highfalutin thing but we're really looking at a short documentary that we hope to you know, put on something like YouTube looking at the way that again society has responded to video games and what the evidence says about things like aggression or cognition or, or sexism in video games or things like that. And, uh, and really trying to get people from you know, different sides, get some parents, get some teenagers to talk. We have a, a state senator from Massachusetts who you know, proposed some video game legislation and such. We're really trying to get a bunch of different views to really get a sense of how society is responding to video games and, and, and where the concerns are and whether, where the evidence is or is not for these types of concerns that society has developed over video games. Well, uh, one of the new things that we're doing here at Stetson is we're going to be working on a project with video games looking at how women are represented in video games and seeing whether uh, more or less sexist representations of women in video games has an impact both on women players, so does that affect their body esteem or issues like that, and for male players, does you know, seeing more sexualized images of women in video games make them more prone to anti-woman attitudes, towards rape myth acceptance, things like that. So we're, we're interested in looking at perhaps less the violent side of things and more of the way that females are represented because that's been an issue that's been getting a lot of attention lately too is that you know females tend to be underrepresented in, in video games, particularly shooter games, and, uh, and where they do show up they tend to be more sexualized uh, than are the male characters. So uh, we'd be curious to see if that's just sort of an annoying, irritating naughtiness about the media or if it really does have any actual impact on, on players and it would be kind of interesting to find out one way or the other. Yeah, we do have a video game lab. Uh, it's right down the hall here in Flagler and so we have an Xbox One and a bunch of uh, other equipment in there. Um, it's actually one of the exciting things is I've never had to buy a uh, Microsoft console. I, I've always had universities buy all my video game consoles for me, so that's been great. But, uh, but yeah, we have students regularly come in, um, teens from the community come in and play a variety of different games uh, on the Xbox One. Uh, so we're an Xbox lab, we haven't done the, the PlayStation yet. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's right, it's right down the hall. It's, it's great, I mean, I, I think some of the work that I've been most um, uh, proud of has been student-led research. I mean, I had a previous student uh, from a few years back 
who had done an honors thesis and gotten that published in an APA journal uh, with him as first author uh, because it was his project really and I was you know, second or third author or something like that on it and uh, in many ways I'm prouder of that uh, experience than I am of anything I publish uh, myself because it's just so great to see a student you know, start and go through a project and finish it and get it published as the first author on that publication. Um, and that student just uh, emailed me recently and he just got accepted to a PhD program at Brandeis University. So that's exactly the type of experience that students you know, really need to get if they're, if they're thinking about going on to graduate school.